Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of a 2x2 two two matrix. And if this video helps you out, make sure to subscribe. So here I have a 2x2 two two matrix, two rows and two columns, and I want to find all of its eigenvalues and all of its eigenvectors. Now in general, the way you find the eigenvalues is you take the determinant of your matrix, if you call your matrix A, minus lambda times the identity matrix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, in a sense, going to subtract lambda off of this main diagonal. It looks like this. So if you just remember to subtract lambda off of the main diagonal, and then take the determinant of this matrix. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it equal to zero. So if I take the determinant of this matrix, remember the determinant of a two by two, I multiply the elements along the first diagonal and then I subtract multiplying the elements on the other diagonal. So this looks like one minus lambda times four minus lambda minus two times minus one minus two, and I'm setting this equal to zero. Now if I simplify this out, if I FOIL this, I'm gonna get lambda times lambda, both negative. That's gonna be lambda squared. I'm going to have minus four lambda minus another lambda. That's gonna be minus five times lambda. And then I'm going to have one times four is four minus minus two, four plus two is six equals zero. And so this is just a second degree polynomial which you can solve. So I think this factors pretty nicely, right? Two numbers that add to six, I'm sorry, add to minus five and multiply to six. I think minus two and minus three do it. So it looks like lambda equals two and lambda equals three solves this equation, this is sometimes called the characteristic equation, and these are the eigenvalues of this matrix. So that's all you have to do, just subtract lambda off the main diagonal, take the determinant, set it equal to zero, and solve. Now, if I wanna find the eigenvectors associated with these eigenvalues, I'm gonna plug these two back into this matrix and set it equal to zero. So I'm gonna start by substituting my first eigenvalue back into this matrix. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set this equal to zero, zero. So if I reduce this, if I just clean this up, one minus two is minus one, four minus two is two, And you'll notice that these rows are scalar multiples of each other. So if you were to reduce this in reduced row echelon form, you would see that you'd get a row of all zeros and that's gonna happen with this. Well, what does this mean? If I write this in equation form, I'm getting that minus x minus y is equal to zero and also two x plus two y is equal to zero. And you can use either of these equations, but you're gonna get the same thing, that minus x is always equal to y. Well, what kind of numbers solve that? Well, numbers solve that look like one and minus one, right? Minus one is equal to, well, minus, minus one. Yeah, it's a little weird to think about. So the eigenvector that's associated with two is the vector one minus one, because I can plug these values into either of these equations and it solves them. Let's solve for the eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue of three. So that's the exact same process. I'm just gonna plug my lambda back into this matrix and set it equal to zero. Now if I reduce this, it's going to be the matrix minus two minus one, and then two, one. And again, you're noticing that 
these rows are just scalar multiples of each other, right? The second row is just negative the first row. And if you write this in equation form, this would be minus 2x minus y equals 0, or just as equivalent, 2x plus y is equal to 0. And what does that mean? Well, this means that 2x, rather minus 2x, is always going to equal y. So what kind of numbers solve those? Well, I think if I let x be 1 and y be negative 2, that would work. So some people ask me, how, how, am I, how am I getting those numbers so quickly? The easiest way to do it is just to swap the coefficients here. So if you see, if I just write this 1 in the x component and the minus 2 in the y component, that's how to quickly get these eigenvectors when you reduce these equations. And so this vector here, 1, negative 2, is the eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue of 3. So these are all of the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix. I hope you got something out of this video. If you need to rewatch it again, please do so. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a fantastic day.